We're gonna be touching on a lot of things in this video. Primarily, you guys are looking for some of the information that's been released about the Superstar X Factors uh, that's gonna be happening in Madden 20, the abilities, what does it all mean? Well, pretty much it's gonna be 50 Superstar X Factor players and they each come with different zone abilities. But in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that I think can possibly hurt the game more than help it. All right, now, this is the situation. Patrick Mahomes is gonna have something called bazooka. Now, I don't know, like I said, I don't think he's gonna be the only quarterback that can use bazooka, but pretty much what's gonna happen is this quarterback is gonna have the ability to throw the ball 80 yards. Now, this is the situation. Not only is that going to make it very, very wild, I wanna talk about some of the other things that are going into what's going to probably make the game a little bit more like what we're already been going through right now inside of Madden 19, all right? I'm going to read you the description about Bazooka as we go through. This is the new journey. I, I am in no way trying to complete all these games. I don't know if you guys are going to want to do that. That's up to you. Uh, pretty much, like I said, you guys had some questions about what do I think about the initial official release of this information, and I have to get that out to you. That's pretty much what this video is going to be about. So let me explain to you guys about Bazooka. It increases the QB's maximum throwing distance to 80 yards. Patrick Mahomes has Bazooka. Complete a certain amount of 30-yard passes in the air. Are not like You have to have a condition to meet it, right? So once you get to that threshold, you're going to be able to do that. So in order for you to be able to stop the person from doing it, you got to sack the QB, force a fumble, or catch an interception. So it's pretty much like you got to do a certain things consecutive to be able to build it up in order to make it happen. That right there is not what scares me the most, though. With one of the things that I read through um, with the no-look deadeye, this this thing right here is what really scares me. Like we're, we're gonna go right to that. Like this is a superstar ability with the no look dead eye. The other thing that I'm talking about is a superstar X factor zone ability. So the zone abil the zone ability of Bazooka, you have to do a certain amount of things to get your guy into the zone. All right. The superstar regular ability. This this no look dead eye. Okay, off of one pass that Patrick Mahomes did. I don't think he did it more than once. Everybody knew about it. It was trending on Twitter. It was everywhere, Facebook, all over the place, right? But I think he only did it once. EA is going to make it so that everybody's doing it. Right now, when you read through the blog in the description, it tells you that only it tells you that Patrick Mahomes has no look dead eye. All right? That's what it tells you. What I want you guys to understand completely, though, is that that's not the way that this is going to ultimately end. Everybody that you play against is going to run around backwards, throw the ball off their back foot, across their body, and it's going to probably, in most cases, go for six. All right? I want everybody to understand that really quickly, simply because just because they're telling you that Patrick Mahomes is the only guy that's going to do it doesn't mean that Patrick Mahomes is the only guy that's going to be able to do it. That's pretty much what I want to kind of get across. There's some other things that are going on, like with the enforcer, with the hit stick situation. I like all that stuff because what they did is they revamped the way that hit sticks work. So pretty much what that means is, like, you, if your guy doesn't have enforcer, it's going to be more likely that he'll miss hit sticks. The issue with that is, I don't want just because you have enforcer, that means that every time you go for a hit stick, it should be a hit stick. And those are the things that are kind of scaring me because even though I believe that we were all test subjects in Madden 19 as far as like some, you know, the abilities and the chems and stuff, and they kind of figured out what could make it work, we saw certain things leaked about the intertwinings of how the formula was and how they were intentionally not making certain chems do certain things. And then they in turn fixed it, gave us back training points, et cetera, et cetera. I think it was more of a testing phase. I don't think in any aspect that it will be as far as the way the chems work, I don't think it will be as bad as it was um, for Madden 19. I think that they probably, in most cases, got some of the kinks out. So we, we probably will be looking to getting something a little bit different from it. Um, do I think that it's going to be, you know, something that's going to hurt the game with chemistries because I've been trying to get away from them? Will it hurt? Probably not because it just depends on, you know, your scheme, your opponent's scheme. That's the way they explained it. It's like you got to be able to counteract what your opponent's doing, and that's what they more fo they more focused on. So every team should give us um, a completely different experience. Do I believe that? At this point, I do not. All right? I think that for the most part, a lot of the things that are going to be going on is going to be generic, and most of the players are going to be able to do it. That's just my opinion. I would love to be proved wrong, but we have yet to see if that's going to happen. So I just want to make sure you guys are on the same page with me. I don't know, nor do I think it's something that's probably going to be able to come through 
like seamless. Like there are going to be issues with it just because, you know, people are going to be, you know, experimenting. Like because they say that it's only on Patrick Mahomes, what are the first things that most people are going to do? They're going to go to another quarterback and try to see the animations they get by doing the same exact things. It's a natural thing. Everybody wants to go and just see like, all right, is EA telling the truth? Is this real? So we all try to figure out like, all right, what does this really mean? Bazooka might not be that big of a deal because remember, it's an 80 yard throw. So you're going to have to, you know, obviously be at the 20 if you're trying to get it off. You know what it kind of reminds me of though? It's like Madden 04. You remember how Dante Culpepper used to be able to throw that thing to like Randy Moss and just wing it? He had the crazy stuff. There were other matters. What was that? Madden 08 where they had the other abilities. That's pretty much what it reminds me of. I just don't know if we're going to get similar types of gameplay out of it. Because if we were able to get something similar to like either one of those games, I would take a Madden 04 right now, like gameplay or whatever, based on what's going on. Because it wasn't what only thing that would go on is that Michael Vick would just run all the way backwards and then he would eventually just run forward and go for six. I would be willing to deal with that than the stuff that we've been dealing with right now in Madden 19, in all honesty. So with that being said, as far as the abilities go and all the other things they have, like, you know, dash and dead eye, it gives you perfect accuracy while throwing on the run. It's more like this. Offense. Let me give you guys this example. This is like a perfect example. You guys remember when Playmaker was just Playmaker? And it was like, yo, whatever, they would always, you know, everybody had Playmaker. It wasn't a big deal. Then they made a chem out of it. And then now you had to have it to have the quick cuts. That's pretty much what's going on right now. Everything that you already do, they're splitting it up into actual chemistry abilities so that your player doesn't only, you know, like, like you can only focus on specific things. You see what I'm saying? Like you can't just, all of these things that are there, you can't have all of them. So you're going to have to pick and choose your actual ability, how you want it to work, and if it's going to fit your scheme. That's pretty much what they're doing. So everything that you had right now that you were already doing, now it's going to cost you in training points to put it on the card. So to kind of break it down after we just went through all that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you an example with like Kyler Murray. Let's go to Kyler Murray right now. All right. We're going to go ahead. We're going to click the square button because I'm on PS4. You know, obviously you'd be X if you're on Xbox. We're going to click the, uh, click the square button and we're going to go over here. We're going to go to the abilities, right? Now you see he only has two, he has two sections right here, Gunslinger and Conductor. So now when you're reading through this and it's saying like dashing dead eye, no look dead eye, red zone dead eye, like red zone dead eye gives you QB a perfect passing accuracy inside the red zone, the 20 yard line, excluding high and low throws and under pressure. Patrick Mahomes has red zone dead eye. So it looks like a lot of these superstar abilities, they're going to have to find a way to kind of incorporate it into Mutt and everything else like that because it's listed like you can have a lot of stuff. Escape artists. It gives mobile QBs elite speed and agility on passing plays behind the line of scrimmage when scr uh, when scrambling. So these are just some of the things that you're going to be able to see going forward within Madden 20. And this is what I foresee. I foresee seeing it in this type of situation and you being able to add it onto the card. Unless for whatever reason, EA finds another way to add more things onto the players. You see what I'm saying? Like If they don't do it like this, they're going to have it another way where you can add it in into Mutt. But the bottom line is everything that you've been pretty much doing for like, you know, remember when Gunslinger was just, you would just throw the ball fast because a player had that ability and then they made it Gunslinger. Uh, we used to be able to do a thousand hot routes before we got to the line of scrimmage. They made Conductor. That's just more of what the same thing is. And to touch on the defensive side, like with Enforcer, uh, it doesn't allow broken hit sticks, things like, you know, things of that nature. Pretty much you're going to be looking for big hitters. So dudes like Jalen Smith, you know, Bill Romanowski, these guys have some big, big hitter traits. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes hit power is wild and savage. If you get lined up, like say we give this guy Enforcer, his hit power is a 98. So he more than likely, depending on the threshold, they might keep it at 90 or whatever. His hit power at 98 is going to incorporate a lot of new features within that. So Enforcer being one of them, if you line somebody up for a hit stick, pretty much what EA is saying is, you will not miss that hit stick. So I don't really like that because it's 100% guarantee. So it's going to be for you and against you, depending on what side of the ball you're on. It should be some kind of leeway. And that's why I think that it ultimately won't be 100% in perfection because they're trying to tell you, oh, bro, this chem is going to make sure of this, whatever. But remember, just because you get the hit stick off, that doesn't mean the person's going to fumble. It's just a big hit. 
and it increases the chance of a fumble. So those are just some ideas about the superstar abilities, the superstar, uh, you know, zone abilities, X Factor zone abilities. That those are going to be separate because you have to build up to be able to do certain things. Meanwhile, the superstar abilities are just general abilities that everybody can have. As EA Sports continues to bring out more information, I will keep you guys up to date, I promise. Hit that subscribe button, go over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, follow me at G Myers World, and let me know if you're looking for more information and what I can get you, you know, get to you as soon as possible. Enjoy your day. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.